first thing we always want to do is make sure we wash our hands as cleanliness is a huge component of cooking. The dishes will be done, the hands will be clean. That way we prevent germs from spreading, bacteria from spreading, any sort of virus or any microbiome that might get somebody sick. Here's the ingredients for the omelet, the goat cheese, tomato, mushrooms, and of course eggs. For the brioche French toast, we're using baggy total 2% yogurt instead of cream or sour cream to mix in with the eggs. And then we have local raw honey from Great Lakes, blueberries, raspberries, and again, the yogurt. Whip up the omelet with the yogurt. We put three eggs and a tablespoon of yogurt. Blend until smooth. You want to make sure you wash the vegetables before cutting them, ensuring that all the toxins from pesticides and whatever else, people touching them, will be cut off. Make sure you butt your fingernails up against the edge of the tomato so you don't cut your fingertip off. When sauteing any sort of vegetables or mushrooms, it's always best to use real butter. The real butter lets it soak, kind of boil a little bit in the pan, just making for a better tasting a better cooked meal. You could use olive oil, but if you do, make sure that you cook it on a lower temperature as you want to prevent carcinogens from being provoked from the olive oil. Add all the ingredients, about a handful of everything, which comes to a cup, give or take. When starting to cook the eggs, make sure the pan's slightly hot to warm. You've sprayed it with butter or the cooking spray to prevent sticking. Flatten the eggs out all the way so they cook through and through. Add seasoning to taste. Sea salt, pepper, and garlic. Start to add the vegetables back in. You can start to add the goat cheese. We use three tablespoons of goat cheese. Sea salt's a little bit more clean than iodine salt. Although iodine is needed for thyroidism. We used a garlic and herb goat cheese. So spreading the goat cheese around the whole omelet. And then putting the vegetables on half of the omelet because you're going to fold it and you don't want to have to fold it with the vegetables. Watch the edges, make sure the edges are cooked. When the, the edges are cooked, you can go ahead and flip it halfway over. You'll notice the brown crispy color, that's from the yogurt. It gives it a little more color than if you were just to use the egg. Next, we're gonna prepare the brioche French toast. Brioche is just a sort of fancier loaf of bread that will absorb the egg and the mixture better. Give you a creamier inside and a more well-cooked French toast and if you use regular bread. So you can see we started with the three eggs. We're gonna use a tablespoon of yogurt. Make sure to take that parchment off the top. Whip the eggs together. Blend it up nice. You can see how creamy it gets once you get that yogurt in there. Let the brioche soak for a minute or two, however long it takes to get kind of moist and damp. Cook on medium heat. Spray the pan with some cooking spray. And when you put the French toast on there, because it is going to be soaked, you make sure you use tongs and pick it up gently. Add the cinnamon to the top of it when it's cooking. Let it kind of set into the eggs. You can set a timer if you need to. We cooked it for two to three minutes on each side. Gently flipped. When it's done cooking, go ahead and throw it on a plate. And then enjoy it. To make the fruit and yogurt smoothie, 
we first started with two cups of yogurt. That's that 2% foggy Greek yogurt. Had a little less sugar than whole, than uh, 0%, and a little less fat than whole. So it was really good, kind of right in the middle. I think there was 22 grams of protein in each cup, which can lead to some uh, fullness, some satiety. Add a third cup of blueberries, third cup of raspberries, and about a tablespoon of honey. We use this local honey as it can help with allergies from the area. If you're one who suffers from allergies, make sure you pick up some local honey. Usually you can get it at the farmer's market, but Costco has this great lakes honey. It tastes wonderful. It's honey. So it's better than just the sugar itself. And then to top it, we just filled the rest with water to make it more liquidy when we blended it so we could actually drink it. And there it is. Smooth, wonderful, not too sweet. Still have some tartness from the yolk. When we plated everything, we garnished along with the right amount of We put blueberries and raspberries on the French toast. And that gives a little more color, a little more antioxidant power. And it just made it taste so much better. What we didn't end up showing was the Walden Farm Zero Calorie Syrup. Uh, it does taste delicious. It is zero calorie. But of course, if there's no sugar in it, then it has to be sweetened with something. And that is a chemical. So you can pick if you want a conscious of calories, you can pick a zero calorie syrup. Or if you don't mind having a little extra sugar, you can use the regular syrup. It's up to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your meals. Stay tasty.